Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the name of Jesus? Come on, just worship Him. Come on, give Him some more. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you very much. Let's all the kids and then good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you happy to be here? Let's give the great God a way of offering in the house. Come on, man. Give the God our great God a way of offering. Okay, this is a wonderful day to be in the house of the Lord. Okay, it's a baby to be in the dictators this morning, so we're just going to ask the parents and the grandparents to come along. And we sing 683 from our redemption. 683 from our redemption. <laughs> when mothers of Salem their children brought to Jesus their third disciples drove them back and bid them depart but Jesus saw them bear them for his their hearts to be Chapter 6, you the from verse 4 to 9. Just going to ask the godparents to take the child from the godmother. Okay, the child. Okay, thank you very much. Deuteronomy chapter 6, you the from verse 4. No? So why are you giving your child to God? It's more than a tradition. It's something very serious. You must recognize that the ultimate shepherd, the one can protect, the one who can shelter, the one who can keep. You know what the first verse, first verse said? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. One. 
Plenty of us have plenty of masks, especially taking this child no God now. Sometimes, which we pray will not happen. The doctor can't find the child complain. The doctor can't find the child complain. Probably you lose faith, you lose heart. Somebody said to you, say, you know, so, so, so. Right? Then they were okay, well, one hobby a woman, one hobby a man. Right? And probably when you work out again, you're going to come back to church and say, pray for me, child. No. You are giving this child to God this morning. His divine protection, his divine shelter, his divine care. And his Bible tells us that you must teach the child the way of God when you are lying down, when you are sitting up at the dining table by the way. Are you willing to do this? Are you willing to do this, sir? Are you willing to teach this child the word of God and the way of God? Are you willing to do this? Start All right. So that means that when how old is this child now? Six months. That means that when the one year birthday coming, you can call your friend and say, We are going to have a party. And the song that you are going to play does not glorify God. It no works. So. The two, three, four years when they reach six, eight. You have to have a big party and you have to get a big sound and you play a cartel and you play all of them and then dirty stuff. So it no works. So you give this child to God today. So you must continue to depend on God. He to guide, he to protect, he to shelter. So this child from today belongs to God. If he is sick, Dr. can help you take him to the church. Okay, that's clear? Today you give this child to God. He must protect, he must shelter, he must feed. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask. Okay, she's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Alright, so we just wanna dedicate the hands on this woman. God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The one who loves us with such an everlasting love, that you send your only Son, died for us. Your Lord is Anthony, a shepherd, great God. The young lives which I bring into this world, Lord. Today, we lift up Anthony Shepherd to you, Lord. We give him to you, great God, as our shepherd, our king, our lord, our savior. Great God, as the hand, great God, shedded her wings and cover her cheeks. Great God, cover this child from this day on. Every day of his life, great God, let me walk in your fear, in your love, in your divine protection, in your divine shelter. Let no harm befall him, great God. Keep him from all natural disasters, human disasters, freak accidents. Great God, as you grow eternal king, to know right from wrong, great God, give him a heart to love you, to choose the right at all time. Let he, great God, almighty God, have a heart to serve you, to honor you, to exalt you, Lord. The spirit of the living God, rest upon this child in a mighty way, in a powerful way, Lord. 
Almighty God, let he be one of the mover and shakers in your kingdom, great God. Almighty God, let he be one great God who is willing to go to the last mile after to spread your gospel. The spirit of the living God, as this shall go day by day, Lord, provide for the parents, provide for the grandmother, the grandfather, the godmother, the godfather, Lord, to give unto this child. Great God, let he be healthy, let he be strong. Almighty God, let he be in, in no one's great God. There will be clothing, there will be proper food. There will be the best school for him to attend, great God. Almighty God. Your son, Jesus Christ. I died for this child. He know the destiny to come and suffer. But this moment, this child knows that no Almighty God wrong from right. But as your word, great God, said so that the parents should teach and guide. Great God, help great God that the mother and father will see the need, great God, that it must be church. It must be your word. It must be your way, great God, to grow this child. Almighty God, you know where he leads, Lord. Almighty God, let it be a suitable place, a habitable place, great God. Let there be no hazard in the home, great God, and will hurt this child. Almighty God, send your angel and camp on up about this child, great God. Every moment, every time, Lord. Sometimes, great God, the mother will not be able to get full attention. But you protect your shelter, great God. Almighty God, as you go from day to day, Lord. They recognize you as Lord and as Savior. Almighty God, this child, Anthony Shepherd, belongs to you, Lord. Receive him. Protect him. Shelter him. Great God. Almighty God. Every vaccination that he should get, great God. There's then those that hurt him, great God. Sometimes babies suffer for so many weeks. But then none of them be hurt him. Great God, let no virus Almighty will affect this child. Almighty God. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we dedicate him to you for your great name's sake, Lord. Raise him up. So we dedicate him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Receive this child, Lord. Protect this child. Shelter this child. Provide for this child. For your name, for your great name's sake, Lord, we say thanks. Amen. Oh, Lord, thank you. Okay. If, if anybody wants to, if you want to take a, a photo, you can just, you can just do it now. Anybody taking a picture? You can just do it now. Yeah. We're going to ask all the brothers that's on the choir, please take your place. All the brothers that on the choir, please take your place. Praise the Lord. We're going to do this song, I'm a glad pilgrim on my way. Going to glory land. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. From the 68, 68 from the church is in now. Bless the name of the Lord. Everyone, please stand. We're going to do this song, I'm a glad pilgrim. Bless the name of the Lord. 
I'm a glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. Jesus, my holy hope and stay, holy me by my hand. It is such joy to understand, things that I never knew. Keeping my promise to the Lord, I'm going.
Praise the Lord. Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Fully believe in trust in God. Give him all the praise. He will comfort me to the head. Oh, glory. I know. I know. Oh, glory. My Redeemer. Oh, come on, somebody. Just worship the Lord. If you know that He will lead you to the end, come on, worship Him. Come on, give Him glory. If you know that, mighty God, thank you, Jesus, that you will lead me to the end. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Oh, to the name of Jesus, I worship you. That you will lead me to, to the end. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He will not be like us. That carry us to a part and leave us. Holy oh, Spirit of the living God. I know my Redeemer will lead me to the head. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! Mighty God! Glory to your name, Jesus. I'm not sure. I don't know about you. I will you feel. But I know my Redeemer. He will lead me to the hand. No matter the circumstances that I'm going through. No matter what I'm going through. He will lead me to the hand. God, you will lead the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that you will lead me to the end. Yes, Lord, it may be seen wrong now, mm, but he's coming through. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, Lord. Jesus, you will lead me to the end. Mighty God. Come on, somebody. Come out of this open dancing. He will lead you to the end. Hold on, my sisters. Hold on, my brothers. He will lead you to the end. He will not be like us. Lord, thank you for the consolation, God. Thank you, Lord, that you will lead me to the hand. Come on, somebody, hold on. Just hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold on a little bit longer. Hold on, somebody. I ask you to hold on. Just hold on. He will lead you to the end. It doesn't matter what you're going through. No. Your breakthrough can be a evening. Your breakthrough can be the next hour from this. Just hold on. I'm saying to somebody, I don't know. But hold on. Hold on. I know. Come on, somebody. Look, let's look at the part. I know that my Redeemer. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. That my Redeemer. He lead me to the end. Praise the name of Jesus. 
Praise the name of Jesus. Oh God, just hold on somebody, just hold on. He will take you through. The songwriter said, he never, he never, he never carried me this far to leave me. But he will take you to the end. Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Greetings to you one and all in the name. The all powerful name. The name of Jesus. Our soon coming King. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Greetings to you my sisters and brothers. In the name, the name that's above every other name. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our soon, soon coming King. Praise the name of the Lord. Today is Men's Sunday, Men's Service. The last and final one for 2022. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm saying to you, brothers, just hold on. I say to you, my sisters, just hold on. Praise the name of the Lord. When we put it, none of us never know that we would live to see, to see today. But it's because of the grace of God. It's because of the, the goodness of God to us. That he has taken us safely through my sister. That he has taken us safely through. Today is the 17th day, the 18th day of, of December. Praise the name of the Lord. 2022, we just have a few more days to accomplish this year. None of us know what tomorrow going to be. Nor none of us know what the end going to be. But bless the name of the Lord. Brother Pinock will come to you to read. Praise the name of the Lord. And I must say that our team faithful men are called to endure hardness. As a true soldier of Jesus Christ. So I'm saying faithful men just stand up. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Just stand up. Praise the name of the Lord. I need another mic please. So faithful men just stand up. And let we continue to let the Lord lead us. He will take us to. Brother Pinnock will read. Bless the name of the Lord. As I was called upon to do the morning devotion, worship the name of the Lord. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. Hallelujah. If you're ever feeling down and like you are nowhere to go if you're feeling like an outcast as your problem overflow remembers in the hard time don't give up Jesus because God is the answer, and God answers prayers. He sees every weakness, every trial, every bow in the sea, and He sees. And he watched it for me. I get down on my knees, and I say, Savior, help me, please. Oh, what king? How are you feeling down this morning? 
How you feel in the presence this morning? And serious brother, he's seen every weekend, every fly every bow down and seen. My God answers prayer. This is the name of the Lord. My God answers prayer. Mighty God, worship the Lord Church. We bless the Lord Church. We bless the Lord Church. We magnify the Lord Church. Worship the Lord Church. We magnify the Lord Church. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. Some of the time we are worrying about things that is God's responsibility. We are worrying about things that is God's responsibility. Come on, church. Send up some prayer. Send up some prayer. Send up some prayer higher than the light bill. Send up some prayer higher than the rent. Send up some prayer bigger than the problem. Send up some prayer bigger than the diseases. Send up some problem bigger than the financial issue. Send up some prayer. Mighty God. God is the answer. And God answers prayer. His ears is not deaf. Mighty God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. We cannot exhaust God. We cannot exhaust God. We cannot exhaust God. God wants us to bother Him. He wants us to worry Him. He wants us to pressure Him. He wants us to call on His name. God is the answer. Do you have any unanswered question this morning? Do you have any unanswered question this morning? God is the answer. You don't need to go to Google to find those, those answers. You don't need to go to pastor to find those answers. You don't need to go to your brothers or your sister. God is the answer. We bless the name of the Lord. We worship the name of the Lord. Glory to your name. So our first lesson this morning, mighty God, our first lesson this morning, hallelujah, Jesus, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, Lord, we worship your own name, Lord, we magnify your own name, yes, so our first lesson this morning will be from Matthew 28, from 16 to 20. I will read and you will follow. Bless the name of the Lord. And you find it, say amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here begin it. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost. 20 and ending. Teaching them to observe all things. Whatsoever I have command you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. 
Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And our second lesson will be taken from Matthew 10, uh, from 17 to 42. We'll read alternately. Bless the name of the Lord. Okay, we are beginning. Find it, does it? But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council, and they will scourge you in their synagogue. But when they deliver you up, take no thought, O or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And he shall be hated of all men for my sake. What he that endured to the dead shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the city of Israel till the Son of Man be come. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord. If they have called the master of the house, Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? What I tell you in the darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the hear, that preach ye upon the house top. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrow sold for, for, for a for a farting and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very years of their men are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth you receiveth me. He that receiveth me Receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. 42 and ending we all read together. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water. Only in the name of disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall be no wise lose his reward. These are the word of the Lord. We are not there by saying, bless the name of the Lord. Back to the mother.
Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, Evangelist Council will come to do the national and international prayer. Soon you will be welcome officially. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We start in the way. It's good to be in the house to give thanks. Amen. Amen. And to the great King, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Bow for his the mighty God and our Father, we give you praise and glory and honor. O oh God, because you are great above all, for there is none can do the things that you do. And God, we come to honor your holy name, to praise and to give you glory. And as we come today, God, in your house, we pray, Holy Spirit of Almighty God, that you will direct our path as we worship. And I pray, God, that our hearts and our minds and our spirits will be open to you today to receive, Almighty God, what you have in store for us. Spirit of the living God, we know that you are in control of everything and every situation. Today, Father, we pray, O oh God, in your name, for this, O oh God, our country which we live in. God, crime and violence is everywhere. O oh God, that drive fear in the heart of your people. O oh God, some people even fearful, God, to go to your house. O oh God, but we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, that you will make a change. God, you will work for us. Oh, God, help your people to be faithful to you. Oh, God, knowing that if they lose their life for your name's sake, they will gain it, almighty God. Oh, God, as Paul has said to live, oh, God, um, to live, oh, God, it's for you. But to die, oh, God, to die is to gain. Oh God, help us to build up upon the holy faith that you give given to us. Knowing that almighty God, if we lose our life in this ministry, in this life for you, oh God, it is to gain you, almighty God. So we pray that your people will not be fearful, God, to go to your house, wherever they live, wherever they are. Oh God, my God, the gun could be barking anymore sometimes. Oh God, but we know that you is in control. Oh God, there are people, my God, who are in churches. Oh God, with gunshot ring out night and day. But we pray that you will give those people courage, almighty God. We pray that you will give them strength, almighty God, to carry on, Lord Jesus, for you. To lift the bloodstained banner high. Oh God, to proclaim your name. For we know, God, that better days are coming, Almighty God. Oh, God, so we pray in the name of Jesus that we will be faithful unto you, Daddy Jesus. Oh, God, give people courage, my God, everywhere. Oh, God, a part of the world. People have been persecuted, my God. People have to be hiding and to be worshiping. But, my God, here we are free to worship here we have freedom, my God, to worship. But my God, here are some times when we fail to come to your house. Sometimes, Almighty God, we let tiredness and fear and we work out to ourselves in the week. But my God, when it comes to Sunday, oh God, it's a if and but if I should go to church today. My God, what are we doing to ourselves? Help us to open our eyes, Almighty God, and to see what the devil is doing, Almighty God. When Sunday morning come, we are so tired and weary, my God. But when Monday morning come, we are strength to go to work, Almighty God. We are putting you on the back burner sometimes, but we pray in the name of Jesus. My God, you will open our eyes and our mind and to notice the plan of the devil, Almighty God. For us not to go to your house. Oh God. But when we come we will be encouraged. 
My God, we will be strengthened, Almighty God. We will be lifted up, Almighty God, by a word, by a song. Oh God, from your children to help us, Daddy Jesus, not to forsake the assembling of one another. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Good day, Almighty God. Give your people strength everywhere. Give your people courage everywhere, Almighty God. Not only in this church, my God, but in surrounding churches. My God, all over this world, Almighty God. Give your people the strength and the courage, my God, to push, Almighty God. To press, Almighty God. Are your people pressed to go to work, to work, Almighty God. Give us the strength and the courage when it comes to Sabbath or to Sunday morning. My God, to have the same mind to press. Give us, my God, a determination like the woman with the issue of blood. My God, she have her needs. My God, and she pressed her way through. So in the name of Jesus, I pray we will have that pressing spirit. Almighty God, to press, Almighty God, to go to worship your name. Bless your people everywhere. Are they gathered in worship? Give them strength and give them courage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the name of Jesus. What a word. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. When it comes to Sunday morning, some of us tired like rat get poison. But when it comes to Monday, we busy gone. No more pies. Oh God Almighty, help us Lord. Praise God. Help us Lord. Help us Lord to have that such a great self-examination. Praise the name of the Lord. Deacon Allison come to you to do the welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. Worship our King. Hallelujah. 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 We are here to worship God. Is that amen? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. To God be the glory. Great things he have done. Praise God. To allow us this great privilege to be in his house another time. To lift up his name and to worship him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. As I'm called to do today's welcome here. Praise the name of the Lord. I call your name. Please stand. Praise the name of the Lord and remain standing. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Latoya Williams. Please remain standing. Sister Francis. Praise God. Sister Jackson. Praise God. Mr. Sharma Evans, is that ever? You win or what? Huh? Christian? Christian? Okay, really? okay. Okay, Sila invite her to church, you know. Oh. <laughs> she start the evangelist work, eh? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Okay, put your hands together for them now. Give them an equator faith mission. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You all welcome in the house of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Brother Burial, praise God. Please stand at this time, Brother Burial. Praise God. Yes, man. Praise God. Out of London. Praise God. Glad to have you again, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. I think I saw, praise God, Sister Gregory is in the house. Yes, man. Put your hands together for her. Glad to have her. Praise God. Sister Simit Diane. Yes, man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come here, Sister Diane. Come here. Come here. Come here quick. Praise God. Praise God. Sister Gregory, come here quickly. Quickly. Just two words, cup, you know, praise God. We'll say something, man. Praise God. We'll just, long time we don't see her. Praise God. 
Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord once more. I have been away for almost four months, but now I'm back. Just pray for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord, church. Pleasant day to you all. I'm not feeling so well. The bad flu catch me. And I thought this morning to come. So just pray for my recovery. In the name of Jesus. Shall we worship the name of Jesus? Bless the name of the Lord. I am so privileged to be here this morning. I'm from the Whitney Church of God in Jamaica. My friend called me and told me that she's getting baptized. And I, you know, my soul just rejoiced for her. Bless the name of Jesus. I remember a few years ago, it was me and her in the party world. Bless the name of Jesus. And when I heard her saying to me that I am going to take my watery baptism, I, I couldn't stay at my church today and feel at peace. Bless the name of Jesus. Because when one soul gives their lives to the Lord, Bless the name of Jesus. That's victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. The devil wanted to kill us in the world of sin, my dear friend. Bless the name of Jesus. But God had us in the palm of his hands. Bless the name of Jesus. And I mean, well, just continue to pray for Sister Latoya Williams. Whether you see me or you don't see me in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, sister. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, church. Lift up the name of Jesus. Praise God. You know what I'm glad for? Praise God. Jesus never come to any perfect person. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. But we can work on to perfection. Is that it? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So you're all welcome in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Glad to see you all. I love you all. And I know you love me. So keep worshiping God. God bless you. Back to the battery. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we give him glory? Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to have our tithes and our offering. This is the bag for the bus. And the other one is for the offering and tithes. We're going to do this song. Get on the glory road. No, heaven is now in view. Although the road is rough at times, Jesus is carrying me through. Praise the name of the Lord. Soon we're going to have our preacher. Praise the name of the Lord. Everyone, please stand. Get on that glory road. Heaven is now in. Although the road is rough at times, Jesus is carrying me through. Pulling me by the hand. Over in God's feet, that glory road. It's on that glory road, heaven is now. Although the road is rough at times, Jesus is carrying me through. Holding me by my hand, over in God's Get on that glory road. Get on that Oh, <laughs> 
Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Get on that glory road. Heaven is now in view. Though the road is rough and tough and hard, but Jesus. But Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. But Jesus will carry me. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus will carry you too. I'm saying to my friends that will take soon your water baptism. The road gonna rough. The road gonna tough. But Jesus will carry you through. Praise the name of the Lord. If you following up the consolation of these songs that God sent up. He's able to carry us through. He will never leave us nor forsake us as according to his word. He will not. He's not a man to be lied. Me and you can lie every day. He can't. Not even for a second. So I'm saying to you. Hold on. He will carry you through. The writer penned it and said. Although the battle may be hot. And the conflict so. Though rocky the road is. As you and I will travel along. But hold on. Hold on, my sisters and brothers. Amen. He will carry us through. Oh, I don't know, but uh, it is like the Lord speaking to somebody today. From my spirit, I felt different than the Lord is speaking to somebody today. Said, hold on. This is the word that's hold on. Just continue to hold on. I remember I, I I hear somebody share it last week. I, I will listen to a program and bless the name of the Lord. The Lord takes somebody to heaven and show the persons the person some gifts. Tons of gifts. And the person said to the Lord, Why all these gifts? And the Lord said to the person, These gifts is for those that start and never stop to collect they, they never come for the presents they never come to collect their gifts they never finish it rev so no matter what the battle may be be or how tough it may be look try to finish it i felt it in my spirit to warn somebody hold on just hold on hold on Hold on, my brothers. Hold on, my sister. Whatever you're going through, I remember Deacon Thompson preached a message and said that the, the testing will not last forever. It is, a, a, a it is only for a time. It not last. It's a temporary. Bless the name of the Lord. So I, I don't know. Who's for this word? But you make sure don't leave without you keep hold on. The Lord is saying to somebody today, hold on. The Lord is saying to somebody today, hold on. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Today will be a day where um, few persons will be go soon to the pool. Praise the Lord. All of us go through that process. 
all of us that here we go through that process already praise the name of the lord we will go to the the, the river or whatever you will go but you have to go through that process praise god so i'm saying soon you will take your baptism but soon we will hear from the preacher praise the name of the lord i'm gonna ask um, praise the name of the lord sister elaine thompson to come and pray for the choir and also the preacher praise the name of the lord praise the name of jesus praise the name of the lord the choir and the preacher we want to hear what god have in store for us praise the name of the lord the lord have a word so we want to receive that word hallelujah let's stand in the house hallelujah stand everywhere children hallelujah praise the name of jesus hallelujah 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 as we lift our hands to heaven this morning hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah all good gifts around us they are sent from heaven above we thank the lord oh thank the lord for his love lord we thank you for your unconditional love this morning we bless you great and mighty god that your mercy still endures forever we thank you almighty god that this new day we are blessed to see this new day hallelujah that you have made and we're here to rejoice and to be glad in it we thank you almighty god that we are still on repentance ground we thank you jehovah god that all the members of our bodies this morning they are intact and we say thank you almighty jehovah we thank you god for your servants god as a men square about to minister we hand them up to you right now jehovah god we ask for your saturation in the name of jesus we ask you jehovah god that there'll be no fear in the name of jesus let nothing intimidate them this morning we pray for your cleansing in the name of jesus saturate their tongue their lips their voices their entire being belong to you jehovah god may you hide them beneath the cross we ask God, as your word declares, it is not by might, nor by power, but it is all by your Holy Spirit. Even though they have rehearsed, but they come to recognize that God self cannot do it. So as they depend on you even now, we ask God for clarity in singing, in ministering the words in the name of Jesus, let the words take a hold on our hearts in an awesome way. Father, we ask for your sweet anointing that you will anoint their vocal cords. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask God for a double portion today that they will minister, minister, ah, Lord, on the anointing of the Holy Ghost unctionize them this morning for this ministry in the name of jesus it will not be business as usual god but events will rejoice the angels will join god in ministering in the name of jesus we thank you for your blessing on them father we thank you for your man servant that will come with the word father in heaven is none of his but it's your written word it's your breathing living word god and he stand around the podium we pray for sanctification we pray god for breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus that yokes will be destroyed shackles and chains will be loose with the word of almighty god it's your word that is like hammer lord that break the rocks in pieces. It is your word as David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. We ask her anointed ears today in the name of Jesus. 
that God, a word, a line, a sentence, God will register in our spirit in the name of Jesus. That God, the weak, will become strong. The sick will become healed. The discouraged will become encouraged. Those that are at a crossroad will find back the narrow path in the name of Jesus. So we ask that you will curfew the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. We bind the strong man of sleep. We bind the strong man of weariness. We bind the strong man, God Almighty, that would want to bring confusion in the midst of your word. Amen, Lord. Jesus. Everything right now, God, that your people are concerned about, many are concerned about not having this for Christmas. Not having that for Christmas. We ask for captivated hearts to your word. In the name of Jesus. God, that, that, that thing are those things that is distracting the mind. Father, we call the mind into being. We call the mind to focus that nothing will rob us from your word. Amen, your man's servant is just a lump of clay, Lord. May you place him on the wheel right now. Amen. Make him over again, Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, let a call from off thine altar this morning uh, will burn and purge his tongue and his lips uh, in the name of Jesus. Give him unction, God, for your word. It's the word that heals. Amen. It's the word that cuts. It's the word that does the divining. And this morning in the name of Jesus, we pray that your word will prevail. Your word prevail. Your word prevail. Your word prevail. Your word prevails today, Jesus. The unsaved will be saved. The backsliders will return. Amen. We call for it eunuchs. In the name of Jesus. That at the end God they did not prepare. But the word touched. But the word caught him. Hallelujah. 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 But your word that is life God. Will raise somebody out of sin this morning. Amen. Your word God will touch a part on the inside that no human can ever touch. Touch Holy Ghost. We clear the way now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give way. Give way to the word of God. Powers of darkness. Give way. You're stealing demon from hell. Give way. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Give way. Marsh. Give way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your lingering demon from hell. Give way. Amen. Mighty God. Right on, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Right on, Prince Emmanuel. Jesus. No man can hinder your Lord. No man can hinder your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sweet anointing. Blanket the atmosphere, God. In the name of Jesus. Clear the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. Give away. From the east, give way. In the north, give way. Give way south. Give way in the west. The word must come forth. The word must give life. In the name of Jesus. We call for life in every dead and dry thing. Life to the every dry bone. In the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. 
God's people belong to him. Life in your heart, life in your spirit, life in your mind, life in the body, life in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. Life, Holy Ghost. Life in the name of Jesus. Come forth, Lazarus, brother Lazarus, sister Lazarus. Come forth. Come forth. My God. In the name of Jesus. Come forth. Come forth. Hallelujah. We lose you, the Holy Ghost. We lose you. Sister Lazarus, we lose you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brother Lazarus, come out the fence. Come on, brother Lazarus. How long will you sit looking? My God. Mm. Come on, brother Lazarus. Come out of the fence. Come on, brother Lazarus. Come on. My God. Why do you look like a stranger? In the presence of God. Jesus. Mm. Life. Come on, brother Lazarus. There is life. Sister Lazarus. <laughs> My God. Life in the name of Jesus. My God. My God. Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. Life, life, life. There is life for a look at the crucified one. There is life today. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life while the blood still run warm in your vein. Receive it, God, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, as we about to minister, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Has been battered by the storm, raging wind and wind. Right now, I'm so broken and shattered. Trying to pick up the pieces. Your hands, Lord, help me through the storm. I pray if you don't hold my hand. Sickness 
and my financial situation has left me so depressed, lonely and disturbed. But your words say you never leave me, no, forsake me. Yes, Lord. I'm just standing on, standing on your word, Lord. Standing on your word, Lord. Oh, Lord. Help me through the storm. I am again. If you don't go, I hate. I want to talk to somebody today who is going through a storm, a storm of sickness, a storm of financial difficulty, buried a loved one last week, you are burying a loved one next week, you need a job and it seems like everything around you is crumbling, but I want to speak into your life today, there's a man there's a man who is able to calm the wind. There's a man who is able to speak peace. I speak peace in your situation today. I speak peace in your life today. In the name of Jesus, receive it and pray. Oh, 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 help me choose the storm. I am again. upon your mighty God. Oh Lord, we are just a limited lump of clay. Mighty God, we are unlimited. Mighty God, we are depending on that power that is higher than ourselves. 
Mighty God, we are depending upon you. Mighty God, we are crying, help. Help. Help us through the storm, Lord. Help us through the storm, mighty God. Help us through the storm, King Jesus. We are depending upon your mighty God. We are depending upon your Lord. Oh, we need you, Jesus. Mighty God. The storm. Help us, Lord. I can't take it if you don't go ahead. Do you need help today? Do you need him to help you today? Do you need him to help you today? Mighty God. My oh Lord, oh Lord, mighty God, help us, Lord. It is not easy. Oh, mighty My God, oh, Lord. mighty God, mighty God, we worship you. Mighty God, we bless your holy name. Mighty God, we give you the highest praise. Mighty God, we worship you. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. The road is rocky, Lord. Mighty God. The road is not Baba Green, Lord. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Hold on, my brothers. Hold on, my sister. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. Keep on pressing. Keep on pushing. You know this first relax on my heart from Luke 18 with this widow and the unjust judge. Mighty God. This unjust judge does not care about man. He does not regard man. He does not believe in God. And this widow keep on going to him, asking him for justice, asking him to avenge him against his adversary. But the judge would have paid any mind. But because the lady is consistent, because the lady is relentless and keep on pressing him, pressing him, you just say, I become weary. I become weary because this lady becomes, be, be, him always pressing me. And he just give in and start to attend to the lady. So the Lord is saying to us that we must press, press, run your race, run your race. Mighty God, press me, brother. Press me, sister. Hold on. He will help us through the storm. He's our burden bearer. He's our problem solver. This is the word of the Lord, you know. It might be coming through my mouth, but these are the word of the Lord. Hang on. The Lord is said, press. Pray. You're not getting answer yet, but pray. Pray. Pray, my sister. Pray, my brother. Hang on, hang on, hang on, my sister. Hang on. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Do everything in a moderation. We cannot eat like how we used to eat. We cannot sleep like how we used to sleep. Press in the mighty name of Jesus. Press, my brothers. Press, my sister. He will help us through the storm. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we pray? The man of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord is talking to us today. So I'm asking everyone, if you do not have a baby, please stand. Just put your hands together and welcome the servant of the Most High. Pastor Thompson to you in the care of the Holy Ghost. Okay. What a mighty God we serve. This God is always victorious. Always be glorious. Always watching over us. He's a big, great, wonderful God. Hallelujah. Today it's celebration time. Today it is celebration time. Come on, come on friends. Praise God, but I just want to say today, amen, that God is here 
the miss it all you don't worry to be pressing for it but of course we don't believe in the bamboo fire so we have to press for it it's a good start for the candidate to just blaze up like last position can just go in free amen praise god it's not always good enough it's good to spend time and reach where we belong amen, amen. oh praise god amen so before you take your seat i'm going to be asking all of the candidates i'm going to be asking please amen i want to join with the moderator firstly with the person i give the of course welcome to say welcome one and all Glad to see those that are supporting of course amen sister kimberlyn of her good friend that they always hot out in the street together look at your sister williams from my friend church pastor mclean amen her mother is here supporting her and as i and as i okay don't worry to cheer it don't worry to, don't worry to cheer it for it's a serious day as I tell you, you can't ramp with God. Amen. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise his name. Sister Francis from Friend Church. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Reverend Thompson is here also supporting. Praise his name. Praise God. And of course, I think she's supporting her brother-in-law. Is that so? Amen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's it, Lord. All right. Okay, but of course we will be moving on. It's a, <laughs> it's a day. It's a day. But if we believe the Bible, I want to tell you that I mean, it all having a joy inside because this is what we have to follow. The church of God come to fire. The church of God strive through fire. Amen. And we were assured from the book of, so I'm going to be asking, of course, our friends, amen, to clear the two first benches. Amen. Praise God. And all the candidates start to find your place as I'm talking. Amen. Don't take your seat yet. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All of the candidates, amen, just find your seat. The, the first two benches, I'm asking it to be clear for the candidates. So we have some children also, all of you. Amen. Praise God. Find your seat. Find your seat. Find your place. Find your place. Find your seat. All candidates. Cheer them as they do so. Cheer them as they do so. Cheer them as they do so. Just for the name of Jesus. Hear them as they do so. Praise his name. Amen. Praise God. And for the children, decide also. Today we have a baby that were blessed. And in that scripture, it would bring out something about the very disciples. Did not think that Jesus had used for the children. Well, that's a great scripture from the book of Mark 10. Amen. Praise God. Praise his name. And I want for you. Make sure you get a Bible in your hand. All of you, make sure you get a Bible in your hand. Oh, praise God. To be the name of Jesus. Yes, well, I think I did ask that you don't take your seat yet. Okay. Oh, praise God. And that is for us, congregation. Praise God. So glad to see one and all that are here. Sister Diane, of course. Glad to see you again, Sister Swap. Amen, and Sister Gregory. God bless you. Amen. Oh, praise his wonderful name. Amen. Praise his name. So I think I did ask the congregation not to take your seat as yet. So it's uh, I've said it's a celebration. It's celebration day. Amen. It's a great celebration. It's joy in heaven. Praise God. Amen. So stand with me again. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Praise his wonderful name. And we're going to join in singing this song together. Amen. Glad again to have the burial was you last week. And we must say for the children and for what God is doing into this local congregation, we give the Lord thanks. 
because last week you can Thompson announced that of course we need three more of course television for the classes the Sunday school we can have them of course to you know been observing things we can be more transparent and more attractive amen in this time we have to go with the time amen and the Bible says that wind souls must be wise amen amen and the appeal was made amen and show the ministry brother burial amen today we are blessed with those three television we need to put our hands together and give our thanks so praise his name oh praise god we don't serve a pure pure god we believe in a big god i said something to the youth last week i hope i don't have to say that to the men we are men and we have to lead by example so if you're going to be sitting up here be sure amen that of course when you feel a little pain amen you really make sure that the smile and the grace of god is shining on your faces amen you're presenting christ we can be in these bright colors amen praise god and be dull come on and give the lord praise <laughs> hallelujah this will be the name of jesus oh praise god amen praise god give me a key give me a key we're going to be doing see it we're going on we will be having of course today service and of course i must say to you from up front many times people are asking what is this what is that so of course last week in the instruction class even thompson was saying amen what a time to be having baptism what a blessing to be having baptism did you know did you know that the month of december is a month that we have a lot of backsliders did you know no oh, well, well. see uh, fox always says pray that god won't come on christmas <laughs> it's a serious thing amen christians forget who they are they get into the bling and the thing and of course amen can't come to church and come on god is not pleased but thank god we amen no better than that am i right amen he is the reason oh praise god to god be the glory amen so it's a blessing to be having these going to be taken the water baptism amen public confession of faith amen but i want to remind you before we even start that of course you just began amen after your baptism remember you just began to settle down, take teaching, and grow in the church of God. You don't reach, you don't reach, you don't reach. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. So, of course, amen. Also, sadly, that of course I came in from a reception last night and been looking over the period for today. I go to bed after two. Last night, and I just checked my phone again to make sure. And by, of course, amen. Just some minister tree of the candidate ring my phone. When did I say go to bed? So you know that, of course, was just the time when I fall in my little sleep. Amen. But anyhow, I give the Lord thanks because she was not around and she wanted to be sure what his baptism is, you know, going on and everything is all right. All right. I'm not even going to say who the person is. But I don't want you to, talk, to turn Peter and cut out truth because she called me after two. After three. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. Learn the church, brother. <laughs> then, of course, and of course, after four, we get another call. Two of the candidate that you observe is not here. They are right now in hospital with their sick daughter. I do everything so that we could get back. Amen on time. I take them to chapter that was not in <laughs> action of the go to Bayport. Amen. I'm just saying this for you to understand that you don't really know what is going on. Amen. But of course, amen. The heart of the buckle. You swear they're gonna be the victory. Amen. So two of them are not here. So I still have to come up and send somebody to try to go and get them. I hope they can reach. <laughs> amen. Now the good news when I say to the security that of course we need some urgent help today. Amen. Because these two people are supposed to be baptized. She said, My God, and then can't put it off enough. 
And she began to give me a testimony yes. of somebody that she had to strongly urge not to put off their baptism. And they still resist. And when the pastor was on his way and preparing for baptism on his way, then of course she was in the mark. It's so sad. It's not something to put off. Amen. Today, if you will hear his voice, as we go on today, for you that are in your seats, for you that are blessed to be here, as we go on today, amen, the good thing is that you can leave your seat and join these up here. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The prayer was prayed. The prayer was prayed. Amen. For you know, baptism in the fashion you didn't plan to. Amen. But of course, amen, as amen, that Amen. You know, heard the word clear. Then, of course, it says, what does hinder me from being baptized? I want to tell you that baptism is not feeling. It's believing and knowing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise his name. Give me a key, friends. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise his name. Oh, praise his name. Holy call it you the key. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the divine, he brightened up this portrait of mine. For this dear sign, I never depart. I follow where to ever he lead. So each day he can believe it. I love the Lord deep down in my heart. I love the Lord deep down in my heart. I love the Lord deep down in my heart. Let go down in the church of the Lord deep down. The Lord, down in my heart. Today he lives behind a bright light of beauty. On his dear side, I never depart. And so I'm there to say when I have crossed my destiny, I love the Lord. He's down in my heart. I love the Lord. He died in my heart. And I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do Come on, Church of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Amidst the storm, we have a God that is acquainted with the storm and is able to take us through. Lovely song that to our sang for this time. Praise his name. We have to love the Lord, and this love must be deep in our hearts. In doing so, then of course, amid the storm, we have one that is acquainted with. We have one that is able to take us through the storm. Is that amen? Yes. Oh, praise God. Today we are here and we are looking, amen, at a statement, baptism. Baptism, let me hear you. Baptism is? Praise God, a public confession of faith. And uh, I want to say to you that, of course, we have a little time because many times we just rush and we sing and we shout, but we have not any substance. And many times the problem that we're having is that even from the congregation, because we'd have some people that are saying one thing and another said saying the other thing. Amen. There are some that believe that, of course, children should even be baptized. Amen. And you wonder where they get it from. Amen. Praise God. But it is good that, of course, we enlighten some things from the pulpit. Amen. 
Praise God. The word. Have we hid in our heart that we do not sin against God? The word. Amen. Not our thinking, not our brightness. Amen. But it is the word of God. It's sufficient. Amen. It speaks for itself. And it gives, of course, that settled peace when we have the word. Amen. Praise his name. So, of course, we understand that we also have words like, of course, we know water. We know that the water washes away the sin. When we go into the water, it just wash away with sins. We know that, right? Amen. 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 And some people are scared that it remains in the pool. So they would rather to go to the river where it really wash away. It's not so. Amen. You know, like, even me of myself, growing up, we did not love pool baptism. But of course, you have to live with the word. Baptism is about, amen, enough water, amen, to immerse. Enough water to dip, to go under. Amen. To be covered under. Amen. It's baptism. In some country, they have to use jump. Did you know that? We are blessed. In some country, they have to use jump. Yes, jump. Amen. And so the fully jump. And some of you might even see it on your, of course, social you know, things and so on. And so they go into the job and they just hold their head and push them off. The baptism. Immerse. <laughs> Amen. Oh, praise God. So, of course, let me say, let us free our mind where that is concerned. Amen. Also, dear, the knowledge and people draw from him accept and said, well, the Bible says that they troubled, they come to a certain water, did not differentiate. And he, even in doing some researches, did not tell us that it was a river or sea. Amen. But it says a certain water. But one thing we know from that, it was enough for them to go into. Amen. Praise God. And Philip received his baptism and they came out of. Amen. Oh, praise God. So let us really understand that. All right. Okay. Very important. Again, then of course, as I was saying, then, you know, to wash away our sins. Amen. The Bible also speaks in the book of Peter. That of course, it is the answering of a good conscience. Amen. It's the answering of a good conscience. A good conscience, then you want to be baptized. Amen. That is why we treasure it. Amen. We don't want to stir up any, of course, um, ill feeling, but rather to stir up a good feeling, even in our sister that is here. Because her son, we, we keep stressing on that, that he asks for his baptism. Amen. Would have died. And that was something that is so wonderful. Amen. Something that is so important. Philip says, well, here is water. What do you hinder me? But the word that we get from Acts 8 there is that, of course, Philip, remember he asks, what would be the cost then of me not getting my baptism? And as the first, he's getting the declaration of what the scripture, amen, from Isaiah really meant. Amen. Yet he was so careful and he was so, of course, thrilled. If we do some research also, it shows that, of course, Amen. And it's later I get to know this as we read. But of course, what really touched him, he was a eunuch. And if we study the, the old analogy of a eunuch, a eunuch was like many times from way down than your children, uh, their parents, of course, make that choice in making them eunuch. <laughs> Which was something that, of course, were, as he was reading here, he was led as a lamb to the slaughter about Jesus Christ. You following? So also the eunuch was looking at, of course, but of course, because when you saw the whole thing, a eunuch was not a normal man. All right? All right? We could not have children. We could not have the sex drive and everything. Okay, everything changed. All right? Okay, so it could have been looked at. He was just led as a lamb to the slaughter. And here I'm reading about somebody. It was led as a I want to know something about him. All right? Okay, so that is something that also touched him. Amen? When he realized, then of course, he came to himself. Yes? Yes, yeah, so I am saying, brothers and sisters, friends, one and all, amen, to our young ones here and to everybody, amen, that we must understand. So I want to say a few, some, a few things today that really intended to enhance, to enlighten us, amen, for us to reap the harvest. Amen. amen. Too much of us are backing back from the harvest. Amen. Oh, praise God. I also want to enlighten you that, of course, amen, Jesus you come 
And of course, he bring peace and he gave peace. Yet in the lesson that was read, and of course, you would see that, of course, it says that he come to set a man against yes. his, his father and so on. Yes. Brethren, we are in church. Yes. I mean, I want you to understand that, of course, amen, amen, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, many times it brings changes yes. in your family life. Bring changes in your surroundings. It brings changes in your family. My God, my God. And as I read this scripture, I almost cried this morning. Amen. This little girl, and I asked her to stand. Stand up, Kelly. She kept on saying to us that she wanted to be baptized. She's so determined. We have not seen her following anyone. She has this determination. And she keep coming to me. And keep coming to going to the church. My God, but something really touched me. Last week, and I said, clearly, why do you really want to be baptized, sir? And I'm saying it. I don't want to go to hell and see the friendship all of that. But the thing that really touches me, my mommy don't want, and so on and so on. But, sir, if she not decide, me are baptized. No, it really touched me. Right in the churchyard, she said to me. Right in the churchyard. She said, if she never want me in the house, me baptized. This look old. I take it my responsibility to go. I take it my responsibility to go and see the mother. I spent a lot of time with her. Sitting in the car where nobody yearns. And talking together. Till she come to a place, but still like she's old enough. And the father is overseas. And I'm saying it publicly. Amen. Because we must know and I want to help us as a congregation. Because, amen, praise God, many times we are jumping on the, the wrong walk on. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. I question her. This is a bright girl. Amen. I question her and she knows. Let me see that. And she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Okay, also before I missed it, I will continue. Let me see on this. So while I was here talking with the mother, and of course she come to a point as she was convinced that I show her a lot of things. She says, well, really, me alone cannot make the decision. I said, it's beautiful. I'm glad for that. I came to you because she lives with you. The father is not here. But of course, you saying that, I want the father number. Just as I said I want the father number, she said, see my call me here. I'm serious. I don't take these things lightly, and I'm saying it to the church publicly today. The God that we serve, she says to me, she's calling me here. He says, answer the call and tell him I'm right here with you. And so it was. Talk with him. And of course, he were more, you know, in Twitter and he glad for her and so on, but still thinking that she needs some more time. But we as a church have to know what we have to do in counseling them. Showing them that we as a church have a responsibility to close them. What will it touch me? And as I look and I'm still talking and I need to see more children. Need to see more children. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because God is doing something among the children. They're speaking to the children. And I'm not taking these things lightly. We was in Mount Liberty. It was asked to give, you know, uh, because speech to the children for their Christmas, their choral service. As I was talking and I asked all the Christian children to stand and hold up their hands. And of course the principal was right there and says, yes, I want to know them. Okay. And she asked me a question and says, Pastor, I want for you that everyone that gets saved, everyone that baptized, send them name to me. I want to know them. I want to know them. We want to help them along. Come on, brothers and sisters. Come on, friends. Amen. Oh, praise his name. Praise God. None of these things. It started by saying that, of course, yes, water wash away sins. No. Okay. But if we read the book of Acts 22, Acts 60, we have seen a statement here that I've said that, of course, rise up, Paul. Why are you touring Saul now that we're Paul? Why are you turning? Rise up. And baptize and wash away your sins. The Bible said. Okay? The Bible also says that of course, amen, 
that we do not save. Okay. From Peter. True baptism. And then it goes on along to say another part that of course we are in baptism do it. Save us. But of course the Bible never contradicts itself. But we must understand from the great commission of Matthew 28 that of course Jesus says uh, is a charge give to the church go he and as people believe of course amen then he says the element for sealing this is water baptism amen water amen the element in which we should go under amen and as Peter would say that of course really it is the answering of a good conscience and as we grow up for us in this island Amen. We know that, of course, many times people are coming to church, but of course, people will not take you serious until you take your water baptism. Amen. Am I right? Because it is the seal, right? It is what, of course, brings you into the family. It is a public show for inward work, as the Bible puts it. So that people cannot read the, the heart. Amen. But of course, what they see is. Amen. So it's really that public confession of faith. Amen. So baptism is really a public confession of our faith. Amen. Which should take place. Which we talk and we preach and we teach about. Amen. That of course, yes, one can get into that person we're preparing for and did not reach to baptism, but we're willing to. And we use the teeth on the cross and all these elements. Are you following, friends? Okay, but from the scripture, amen, we should obey. It is but when he says, rise and wash away your sins, there is speaking about, of course, following the command, believing the word of God, doing what he required. Amen. Of us. Okay, amen. But not the water itself. It will wash away. Then we have the whole story about Mass Jew and so on with the pipe. Amen. That one is not bad at all. Amen. The pipe, he makes sure to carry the pipe in his jack in his pocket. Okay, when you go into the water, he take out this pipe and leave it and say, All right, you stay down there. This is a good analogy of what the Bible says. Amen. The water we go under the water, buried the whole demand. Amen. We come up out of the water. New man. Hallelujah. It is when you're in Christ. Amen. Yes, so it has its significance. Amen. But we have work to do. Candidate, you have the work to do. You have the work to stay put. You have the work to stay in the words of God. To stay in fasting and prayer. To follow teaching and remember it just began. Amen. 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 Praise God. So that is why in Matthew it says teaching them and even after baptism then should continue. Amen. Praise God. Teach them. So teaching them to observe the thing that I have command you. Amen. Amen. Praise his name. And so, of course, there's many. In the Bible, we do not have a age for baptism. Can you find any? No. You have any age for baptism? No. I must say, in the Bible, it does not have a age. There is, of course, a tradition saying, but in the Jewish background and, tradi and tradition, it was of age 13 that they believed that one would enroll, of course, into responsibility. Okay, and um, accountability, right? Okay, but we know also that it is from about the, the Jewish people began to instill the Torah within the, their, their children. Am I right? Okay, yes. And of course, we, we talk and we find some research would say, well, of course, okay, should not baptize infant. Okay, we have, of course, infant. And we have two terms that I don't want to miss them. I make sure to, 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 to jot them down. Okay, so we have infant. And please can tell me the age of an infant. Hmm? Zero to 12 months. Zero to make it sound enough. Zero to 12 months. Zero to one year. All right. <laughs> All right, nurse. Amen. Praise his name. Okay, and so we have toddlers. Can you tell me the age of toddlers? This is the age of toddler. Huh? Toddler. Try on that one. Try on that one. One to six. One to six. Yes, toddler. Okay, well, it is really. So it is two, two to three. 
toddlers. Okay? All right? Yes, and uh, within the scripture, all right, let me go with some information that I have, and let us really run through. But remember today, amen, friends, that no hurtly change should cause us to part when we have this love for Jesus. We have seen many Bible characters, okay, even from the Old Testament coming up, but we're dealing with, let us deal with the new for a moment. Okay, let us call some names. Some people that, of course, we see that some early change take place in their lives as they give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and we're going to talk together now. Some earthly change. When we say earthly change, all right? Meaning that, of course, you can give one right away. Brother Pino, you can give one right away. Now remember, Brother Jones, you can give one right away. Earthly change. You, personally, know what, since you get saved, some things start happening differently then, right? That could have caused you to say, boy, this thing never hurt it, man. Amen? Yes, personal, personal. Yes? I was a grand a small grand and I, before I baptized, I was for the earth. But when I baptized, I never take it off. Never, never. Over 28 years now. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Well, thank you. I understand where you come from with that. But the, the one that I want to get to us with now is that, of course, yeah, what's out there and what's going well? All right, let me, let me help you. Of course, I remember, oh, I remember for the pinup. And of course, he have his car and he had car always a one. But it was when he gets saved that this car just started to <laughs> give him some, some trouble. And, of course, traveling from Summerfield to be here, then, of course, he could use it as an excuse that, boy, the car, boy, always take out like on a Wednesday to come to the fasting from work. I'm talking to everybody and I'm helping you candidates. Amen? We have to make sacrifice for the Lord. We will not reach anywhere. We will not go. And I want to assure you, that when you make sacrifice, like what James, James said, if we draw nigh to God, come on, man, come on. He will draw nigh to us. Yes, and I observed him. And I said, well, of course, he still would have to take taxi. Don't let that end him. So that was an earthly change. All right? Are you following? We are, of course, becoming a Christian. And we have been so many, and I rather that people talk, right? I rather that people talk. What happened when you just started for the Lord? Because really and truly, what are we saying? It is not a bed of roads. And as I always said, it is a rough road. But it is the best rough road. And the point is that we must understand as young as you are. Everybody are listening to me? Are they? Are you listening? Are they up here to you? <laughs> are they? Are you listening, right? Keller Lee, are you listening? Yes? Okay. I want us to really understand that some things are going to be taking place. But of course, as we sing that an earthly change will cause me to pop because I love the Lord and this love is deep in the heart. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise his name. Okay, so we are in a service today that will be a little different, but of course, please to pray and follow. Amen. 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 Because what we need, we want to get this substance and when we receive the substance and when we inhabit the substance, then we can shout Amen. Amen. And meanwhile, we're shouting, the devil can be zero. Amen. Doing his thing. And when we go home and the devil do his thing, we're still shouting. Because we have substance. Amen. Amen. Come on, friends. Come on, friends. Amen. Amen. Because we have too many people in our churches, in our surrounding, that of course they can shout as long as it is going well. Amen. And they will love the Lord as long as it is going well. But when, yes, but when the valley time come, my God, grumble and complain. But I want to tell you that when we get it right, nothing enders us. Nothing stops us. Amen. And we have the approval in the book of Acts. Amen. Praise God. It's a long list there of all the things that happened to the 
Amen. And we're opening to the apostles. Amen. And we wonder what kept them going. But the love of God that was deep in their hearts. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. So amidst the happenings, God is working. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Brother Robinson, never dear. Name again. We we'll praise his name. What's your name again? Hmm. Called Dane. And your last name is? Yes. Called Dane. Well, her grandmother came. Was talking to Deacon. Um, so this morning, then she was talking with me. But she really came because he saying that he wanted his baptism. And I asked her how she see man so on, and she gave a testimony about him. But of course, amen. She says she don't want to be the one that hinder him because he keep asking. Right? And she questioned him. And he answers and say, she said, the one thing that I love. She says, when she said, We are going to testify, say. So you don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. She came out. I think she said, Deacon Allison, you have to go by the office today or something. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Amen. And I love that. You say, you don't worry about that. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, praise his name. God is good, friends. Amen. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember today we are reasoning. The only sad thing we want to take the church from is that, of course, when it comes to reasoning, many of us cannot handle it. Many of us just love this shout. And no wonder we have so much weep by Christian. All them know if it was shout. Come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. We need to sit down. Jesus did it while he was here. Take his disciples from the crowd. He sat them down and he teased them, saying, Blessed are you when men shall revive you, persecute you. Say all manner. So we are saying today, don't think that everybody is going to be saying good about you. Don't think everybody is going to be saying good about the church. You are going. But you must know for yourself what you are doing. Amen. What you are up to. What you believe. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Oh, magnify the name of Jesus. Oh, praise his name. God is good. So, of course, amen, we'll be spending some time because I am believing God that for this set, amen, it's going to be, amen, praise God. People are coming from different backgrounds. Amen. And believe in God that for the set of candidates coming into the kingdom of God, that God is going to be turning things around. Amen. God is going to be changing lives. Amen. And very quick, probably before January hop, we should be having another baptism. That's the God we serve. This will be the name of Jesus. Come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, of course, today I'm saying we're not having receiving. It started and I did cut short, not going to it. Amen. So, I want everybody to get it. You will be receiving as members because we'll be taking the rest of the time for this year to teach you, to instruct you. Amen. Into kingdom person. Amen. Praise God. The kingdom of God suggests, amen, God's way of doing things. God's a ruler. God rule. Amen. Amen. And the kingdom is both present and future. So many of us anticipate the future that of course we're going to heaven but no earthly good. But the kingdom is present. There's a song that we always sing, the choir always sing, the kingdom of God. Somebody help me with it. The kingdom of God. Reign within. Yes. We possess, we possess it right here as we are free or safe from all sins. Amen. The kingdom. So it is about present and future. So presently we must practice kingdom principles. Amen. Amen. And I want to help the parents. Amen. And I want to help us guardians and parents within the church. It's our responsibility. Amen. To lead them, to guide them, to instruct them. Amen. Into kingdom principles. For the children, they will be always children. Amen. Praise his name. They will be always children. Amen. 
Praise his name. And never you use, amen, praise God, words, amen, praise God, that will destroy them. Words like, I know you baptize. I know you say you're a Christian. Come on, friends. Come on, friends. Amen. amen. Remember, amen, you can be charged. If we notice this statement, Jesus said to the disciples, not just as we read it, but it was like, amen, a rebuke when Jesus said, suffer not. Come on, friends. Suffer not the children to come. But allow them and hold up that he used it to teach that kingdom people have to really be like children. To be enrolled into the kingdom. And Brother Robinson, you testified that last week. I remember that I keep smiling when you said, look here, I'm like a baby. And he was giving that motion to I'm like a baby. So if you see me do something, just talk with me. Just tell me. Amen. No one should do the right. I'm like a baby. It's a big man. I've married children. A big man. You see him there? No? Yeah, man. Look here. I've been children married. Okay, and so on. Amen. Come on, brothers and sisters. But he said it with, of course, attitude. I'm like a baby church. Yes, Jesus used it to teach them if we are going to be. Amen. So, Brother Dixon. Amen. Praise God. Sister Kim. Amen. As the elder one. Sister Michelle, amen. And of course, Sasha is coming from far and she's renewing her vow. Oh, praise God to be the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. And I and I must say it because it is a good reason. She was the one that waked me. But that tell me that she was anxious. So, my sister, when me walk in a big fruit crawling up, you know, oh, nobody I look down by me and say, Watch pastor member. Pastor member. Amen. Amen. I must be proud of you. Yes. The church must be proud of you. The kingdom of God must be proud of you. God Himself, Amen, must say like Job, Do you consider my servant, Michelle, that you really change? Amen. Not going to places you used to go, not doing the things you used to do. My God. Amen. Brother Robinson, Brother Dixon. Amen. Praise God. The Lord is counting on you. The Lord is counting on you. So we will be having receiving of these our members the first Sunday in January. Is that clear? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You are just special. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. In which, of course, as I said, we will be taking the time still to instruct you to kingdom principles. Amen? Yes. Now follow me briefly. The first lesson from Matthew, Jesus himself, and we know that lesson, Matthew 28, 16 to 20, as the great commission. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus, and it was after he, he rose from the dead. Come on, church. And I run through. Amen. And please to follow, because the times will be running through. Amen. Just for you to listen. Amen. To absorb and to receive. After Jesus rose from the dead, he, ch he charges his apostles to go and to teach and to make disciples of all nations. He instructs them that to baptize people. Yes, he instructs them to baptize people. Matthew 28, 19, right? More is said about water baptism in the book of Acts than in any other book of the Bible. I'm coming from Matthew, but I'm using Acts now. I mean, to bring it up because of the action section. After Jesus gave them the instruction and left them, we see them in action. They carry out the instructions. Amen. Amen. You are here to listen to carry out the instructions. Amen. Any man in Christ is a new creature. Amen. Day by day, you put down the old things and put on the new. Amen. Drop off and put on. Amen. Oh, praise God. Okay, so... Yes, the book of Acts and in any other book of the Bible. What do we learn about water baptism in this unique book? First, of course, whatever water baptism is, it involves going down into and coming up out of. Amen. Wherever, whatever, it must be able that we can go down. Amen. Covered, immersed, and come out of. Is that clear? Okay. After Philip the evangelist had taught a eunuch from Ethiopia, 
The Bible says he commanded the chariot to stand still. My God, business time. Amen. This was a big man. Also, people saying that some little people, you know, I'm not sin, so I know I'm not fit to serve God. This was a man that, of course, were responsible and have the charge of the queen business. This was not a simple man. Especially he was riding in chariot. Amen. That's something to really look at. Amen. But what we observe here that this man were, was humble. And I'm using this to say, if you are going to make it, if you are going to grow, if you are going to be kingdom people, you have to humble yourself. I instruct you, I encourage you, amen, praise God, to humble yourself. Also, the Bible teaches that, amen, is that humble himself? He is that humble himself? He is that exalted himself? And we have seen that. And you know what comes to mind? Amen. Mordecai. Yes. Mordecai. Mm -hmm. In the book of Esther. Amen. The people of God. He was a humble man. who was put on and uh, wanted to destroy the, the Jewish family. And so on. But of course, he was in a humble way. And he'd take everything in in prayer. Amen? The queen, now with him they take things in prayer. Learn to take things in prayer. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And Naaman was there. Amen was there. Kicking up. Hmm? His pomp and pride. Amen? And of course, there was to be a banquet and say, I am the man. Who else could the king want to promote? Amen. I am the man. My God. It's a lovely book. Read it. Book of Esther. Amen. Praise God. But, amen. Praise God. God is able to turn it around. Amen. Oh, praise God. And as people of God humble themselves, then of course God have a way. Amen. To bring it to pass. Amen. You just trust God with your life. Amen. So, of course, amen. He was promoted. But in that story, each time I read it, I have to have a good laugh. Yes, the power of God. Amen. Amen. And when we love God and when we know God for ourselves and when we humble ourselves, the Bible says, He will exalt. Amen. My God, my God. When the man, of course, make all the good choice, the chariot, the ring, the robe, that, of course, because I must be the man, so he's calling his own shot for promotion amen think about it for a moment not knowing it was his enemy <laughs> come on friends come on friends amen but what really taught me this after love is when this amen after be walking before his enemy and repeating out of his mouth this is the man this is the man this is the man that the lord that the Lord, amen. amen. Praise God to, the, to be honored. You have to speak it in the streets yeah. out of his mouth. Come on, amen. just humble yourself amen. under the almighty hand of God, amen. amen. So, we're talking about the church, we're talking about amen. Praise God, commission that was given, and how the early church handled it. And water baptism is really all over in the book of Acts, amen. Praise his name. Yes, so he commanded the church to stand still and they went down. He was baptized. And of course, he went on his way to Ethiopia. And from this, we understand that's how the Ethiopians have received the gospel. To one man. To one man. One faithful man. So also from this passage, let me... I intend to just read so that you can get the information. And don't say much because... Okay. So the Spirit of the Lord called Philip away in Acts 8, 38 to 39. Friend, the word baptism means immerse, immersion or dipping, right? As I've said before. Yes, and the proper element for baptism as we know, it's really water through the Great Commission. Also, we should note that in Acts 10, 47, not something that is similar 
to water, but it must be water. Another truth that we learn about water baptism from the book of Acts is that it is only for people who believe. Baptism is for people who believe. So as the eunuch was asked, as he asked Philip, and the reply was, if you believe. Then his confession was, I believe that Jesus is. All right? Okay, so what we observe also that this is really a good confession, right? Yes, a faith in Jesus Christ. So the person for water baptism, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Should have the confession of faith that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Redeemer of the human race. Amen. Amen. Yes. So also on the day of on the day of the Lord's Church, or when the Lord's Church began, as we call the day of Pentecost, thousands were baptized. After the early Apostle Peter sermon, how does the Bible describe these were, these who were Im, were immersed that day? They were those who gladly receive his word amen so we should gladly receive his words amen let i make sure to be looking at your faces let i make sure to be looking and observing your faces yes so we should have some joy amen amen praise god you should have joy should gladly receive his word right it should be your decision amen it should be your commitment amen yes so they gladly receive his word and they were baptized so also people refuse to believe it is only for those who have the capacity to hear the gospel acts 2 37 understand it I have to skip some to get to some more particular area. We should sincerely receive the message. It's according to the book of Acts chapter 2. And what I've seen here, they gladly received the word. They were baptized and they have fellowship. So also I must say to you, in coming in to the kingdom, in going to make that public, of course, statement, true confession of faith, of water baptism. Amen. Then, of course, I want for you to understand you must fellowship. Amen? You must fellowship. Right? Amen. Learn to go around. Learn to greet. Amen? Amen. Learn to take part. Participate. Amen? The worship service. We have different auxiliary in the church. Amen? Be a part of this auxiliary. Attend this auxiliary. And when you come, amen, don't just sit and observe, but participate. Participate in the singing. Amen. The clapping of hands. Amen. We don't know this song. Somebody said, try your mouth. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. You try more till you get it. As long as you have a desire, you're going to get it. And the blessing also is that we have a, a screen. Amen. Which at times many of the songs are put up. So in a quick time, you can learn and you can understand these songs. Amen, church. Let us stand. I'm getting a feeling that you're sleeping here on me. Huh? Let us stand for a change. Let us stand for a change. Let us stand for a change. Oh, praise God. Come on, let us magnify the Lord. Amen. Praise his name. Praise God. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We honor your name, Jesus. We magnify you. Just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Come on, worship, worship, worship. Praise his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Magnify the name of the Lord. God is real. God is real. He is to be worshipped. He is to be praised. Yes, he is to be praised. He is to be worshipped. Oh, we honor you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you. We exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. We honor your name, Jesus. 
Alléluia. Mm. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Alléluia. Alléluia. Thank you, Lord, for these souls. We worship you by your Holy Spirit that have drawn your children in your kingdom. Now, Lord God, come upon them, strengthen them. Oh, God, infuse them with your power. Your anointing, Jesus. Help them, my God, give them appetite for your words. Appetite. Make them lovers of your word, Lord. Lovers of the Sunday school. Hallelujah. This will be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Be seated for a while. They were told not just simply to be baptized, but to repent and be baptized. To repent. To repent is to sorry for your sins. So at this point, even while you are sitting here, be sure. Amen. This is the beauty with Christianity that, of course, you can write where you are. You sit in there and says, My God, as you listen to his words, you amend your way. The writer to the Hebrews put it this way The word of God is like a. No, Jeremiah said that, like a hammer. But the writer to the Hebrews says, The word of God is like a. Right, it says that too. But the word I'm looking for to start with is that, of course, it's like a mirror. Amen. The word of God is like a mirror. Amen. So practice, no matter who appears, no matter the little it's of child, even on children's Sundays, that they come to do something from the word. Many times with the elder one, learn so many things from them. Just the way they put it, the way they stated it. My God, it's like you never see it that way. Come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes, what I'm saying, be a scholar of the word. Be a scholar of the word. We will not only, of course, amen, baptize, but we have to believe, repent by godly sorrow. I mean, that godly sorrow for sin. Amen. Amen. And make sure, as I was saying now, to talk to God, even as you sit there. And as you listen, you can say, oh my God, I'm guilty right here. Amen. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me. Forgive me, Lord. By your grace, Lord. I'm going to really, amen, walk. Amen, to walk. And I'm going to really talk the talk. So they, yes, so they were told to repent and to be baptized. It's not some, of course, mighty call. Just a sermon. It is not just a sermon. Uh, being baptized is a decision for those who are prepared to turn from all their sin. Okay, yes. No, being baptized is a decision for those who are prepared to turn from all their and commit themselves amen, to serving Jesus Christ faithfully, leaving the old life, the old man behind, leaving the old man behind and walking in newness of life, Romans chapter 6 from the verse 3 to 6. Okay, further in the book of Acts, we see that water baptism is a command. In the first record, in the first record case of non-Jew being converted, the Bible says that the Lord messenger commands them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. In Acts chapter, amen. 10 and the verse 48. Like we already noted in the book, in Peter, command people to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. As we would have noticed. Yes, and that was a shift from John baptism to Jesus, the Trinity. Okay, the Godhead. Likewise, Saul of Tarsus was commanded to immerse. Hmm? Next chapter 22 and the verse 16. There is no denying this truth. Water baptism is a command of God. And what is it that God wants us to do with his command? That is correct. To obey. God wants us to obey. So by obeying the command, then I use this statement. Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins. Amen. Amen. Praise God. To obey the very command and the statement. Okay? 
The purpose of water baptism, the purpose of water baptism, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission, the removal, amen, the forgiving of our sins. All right? Okay? And following this, following your baptism, please to follow. Yes, then of course, amen, also come with it, amen, Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2, 38, according to this verse, amen. Then of course, the, um, was the purpose of baptism was for the removal of sin, of course, the remission, the forgiving of sin, Amen. Before baptism of Saul of Tarshish, then he was told, Now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. Wash away your sins. Call in on the name of the Lord in Acts chapter 22 and verse 16. Amen. Okay. Yes. So, friends, I am saying here, Amen, that of course, to baptism, that public confession of faith is very important. As you prepare to go in and to take your baptism. Okay? Yes? Finally, the book of Acts, and I really skip out much of what I have here. Finally, the book of Acts also show us that water baptism is not something to be delayed. It's not something to be delayed. It is why I did not even call anybody this morning when I recognized that it was two. Because this child that is they take to the doctor is uh, what we call yes, uh, physically challenged child. And both of them have to travel together. The child cannot do anything for herself. 15 years old. It's not easy. I make sure not even to call anybody because this is Sunday. This is baptism Sunday. But I'm a person of faith and I have determination. So I take it upon myself. Okay? But of course, amen. Praise God. We still believe in God that they will reach. Amen. 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 So, of course, water baptism is not something to be delayed. Once a person has made the decision to follow Jesus, the example of baptism in the book of Acts make it clear that when lost people heard the gospel, believe it, and were baptized, sorry, and were ready to become children of God, they did not put off baptism. We're talking about Bible. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have a tradition. Well, it's not so much again. But many of us can attest that we have to sit on baptism, we call it baptism bench, for months and for a very long time. But really and truly, there is no in the Bible say that. So let us follow here. And please, friends, as I said, I'll be taking the time today because I want people to understand that we don't do things by feeling or what we think, but follow the instruction. The Bible says that, of course, we must build upon. Amen. The, amen. Praise God. It was built upon the foundation of Jesus and the apostles. Amen. Okay? Amen. There is no other foundation. So we must be sure we're following that foundation. And so as I said, the action church has just gave the command from Matthew. We have seen them going with the report. Going with the commission. Going with the word. Amen. And let us look at this now. Amen. So I go over. So, once a person had made that decision, not something to be delayed. Example of baptism in the book of Acts make it clear that when lost people heard the gospel, believe it, and were ready to become children of God, they did not put off being baptized. Why would they? On the day of Pentecost, the people were baptized the same day. The same day. Come on, friends. Are we here? Amen. The people are baptized the same day. Acts 2, verse 41. Okay. That eunuch from Africa, beyond, of course, 
obeyed the gospel before he made or make it to his home. He asked for his baptism. It was more important to him to be baptized than to go home. Think about that. Come on, friends. Amen. 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 You see another little one. A long time she's a little missionary. You know, like evangelists and everything sitting beside there, that big evangelist. That we have a lot of work to do with her. But we're not giving up on them. Amen. Amen. And she will be leaving the country shortly to go and come back. And remember when you go to tell your caretaker, your mommy, that of course, I'm now a new girl. So some of the things that even mommy might want you to do, I says, I can't do that. Like the Hebrew children. I can't do this and sin against my God. Amen. Amen. Are we still here? Amen. Yes, we are in instruction Sunday. Okay. Oh, praise his name. Okay. Yes, so glad to see you. Uh, Brother Williams, Deacon, Richard Williams, glad to see you, sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, so of course... I was on the point of saying they did not delay in the early church. Yes. And we, it is not scriptural to be having people for weeks and months if they want or decide to be baptized. So let us be clear on that. I'm not saying it is not a good practice. I will not say that. To make sure we teach them. But from the word of God, what is also missing in the, our Pentecostal circle is that many people think that, of course, being baptized, then it ends there. But being baptized, it just started. The work just started. The teaching just started. You have to attend the instruction class. Amen. You have to attend Sunday school. You have to attend Bible study. Come on. Amen. You have to attend the auxiliary of the church. Because all of these auxiliary help you to grow into kingdom people to be the persons that you have to be to equip us to go because the point again you know is not of course that you come now and of course you're just you're saying you're a baby the bible also the writer to the hebrew says when you should be instructors you're still on milk yes. amen yes. so we also teach that and many people sometimes i want to tell you some people even get jealous from me you now because i'll pay more attention to you Sometimes, some of them make it in a little joke and say, boy, you know, remember we again. Amen. 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 That is the Bible. Yes. Right? Yes. Amen. People grow up. Amen. And of course, you should not be easier. You have to tend to the younger ones. Yes. And uh, it brings it out very clearly. All of us as father and mothers, that of course, each child come in the family. Then the, the, the one before get less attention. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Less attention. Yes. And not just that he or she get less attention, but that he or she is called upon to help yes. with the younger ones that are coming into the family. As for me, the first one, that's why I hold my brother and sister, them love me. I'll wear one and love me. I'll do a bit rough. I'll do a bit rough with them. Amen. But a plenty water me have to on donkey. A plenty hood me have to on donkey. Plenty cane ball me have to look to feed the mule and the, the cow and the different things. Amen. As the elder one. My God. Lord help us. Lord help us. Oh, praise God. Praise his name. So I am saying here, as we will be. Amen. Going into oxen the baptizers. We're not going to the pool today. Amen. Amen. To get ready. Going to the pool in a short while. Okay. But of course, we will continue on this. Okay. So we'll be doing that. And of course, Amen. We're still going to be asking you to return for a short time in the evening. As you know, we don't keep you late in the evening. Okay, dismissed by 738, the latest. Okay, all right. So, of course, we want to go, as we were saying, where children are concerned, 
then Jesus Christ will give us a great example that, of course, we should not turn them away. We should not turn them away. And of course, that part I'm not able to go into now. But from the book of Acts that we... I just want to do something brief from that passage as we prepare to go into the water. Okay, the book of Acts chapter 10. Then my sister can lend me, can lend me her glasses. Uh, I have... I have two test glasses and can't find none of them. You believe that? Can't find none of them. Okay. And uh, the heart of the back, as I said, be the sweet of the victory. To all of these young ones, I want to charge us. I want to be sure that I do this. To charge us that you are responsible for them. Okay, and I'm going to be doing something briefly just to help us on that. Okay, praise God. So the scripture that he used earlier today in the blessing of baby. Um, and of course in Mark 10 and the, the, the verse 16. Where Jesus blessed them. He also rebuked the disciples for not wanting them to come. Please to follow me. Christ is deeply concerned about the salvation and spiritual bringing of children. Christian parents should use every means of grace available to bring their children to Christ. For he, for he long to receive them. And we can see that when he said, no, let them come. I've said a lot of that in my opening remarks. Okay? And I want us to Take that very seriously. Very seriously. Okay? But I really do not want to, left before I say this, because I want for you to understand we, and as parents, guardians, we don't want to be charged by the Almighty God for not supporting the children, for not encouraging the children. Amen. To walk in the principles, the way of the Lord, especially when they themselves are asking for their baptism, saying that they want to be baptized. It's something that we must take very seriously. Let me hear it say seriously. Amen. Oh, praise God. We must take that very seriously. Also, from the Bible, I want us to understand. Let me get a major hero. It is the solemn obligation of parents, and of course, that is father, mother, to give their children the instruction and correction, the instruction and, let me hear the church say, and correction. Come on, you think we know to give the instruction. But come on, let us use up this part. So we must learn to instruct and we must learn to correct. Because there is a wrong and right way in correcting. Amen. So let us give our children the instruction and the correction that belong to Christian upbringing. Parents should be examples of Christian's life, conduct, caring more, for the children's salvation than for their jobs, their profession, their ministry in the church, our social standing. My God, if we read Psalm 127, we'll get something to help us there. According to Paul's word in Ephesians 6, 4 and Colossians 3, 21, as well as God's instruction in the Old Testament passages, and also in Genesis 18, 19, Deuteronomy 6, 7, we can draw some things there. And a lot of amen can be drawn from that. It is the responsibility of parents to give their children the upbringing that prepares them for lives pleasing. Amen to God. It is a family, not the church. Mm -hmm. Not the school. All right. 
that is primarily, of course, responsible for, yes, bringing them up into the nature and instruction of the Lord, but of course, the parents, the homes. Let us stand. Let us stand. Let us stand. The very core of Christian nature is this. The art of the father must be turned to the art of the children. Amen. And of course, that art is to see them being saved, being delivered. And we must always bear in mind that they have an eternal soul that must, only two places, that must either spend eternity in heaven or in hell. Is that so? So with that in our mind, with that in our understanding, let us do everything to instruct them. With these young ones that many will look at and say they don't even sure what they are doing. Amen. We are charged to guide them. Amen. To instruct them into kingdom principles. It is the will of God. God bless you. As we continue to do so, I'm going to be boxing as we always do, we always allow the male. We're, we're using a pool. Well, of course, we know proper protocol. We allow the males to go first. Is that clear? All right. So we're going to be oxen. Everybody, those that are on the outside, we want to do it together. Those that are not active in appearing on the outside, they're going to be oxing us. Amen. Praise God to get together on the inside. Okay. And we're going to be praying for them at this time as we seal them. Amen. Praise God. And as we always allow them to give their testimony, and I'm just going to allow them to do it here. Okay. So that when we get to the pool, we can just go through the baptism. All right? Okay. And remember to pray for our couple. We have two more candidates that have to be at the hospital taking care of the sick child. And are still pressing to be here. And that is even one of the reasons why I we are so late. Okay. But of course, let us trust God. All right. Okay. So of course, at this time, I'm going to be asking them to really give their testimony. I was going to let them do it all there. I'm going to be asking them. So please be seated for a while. Thank you. You'll be seated for a while. Okay. For all of the candidates, we're going to ask you all to come out here. Okay. All to come out here. Just spread out yourself right along here. All of you. Praise God. Then put the little ones before you. You're you, you going to start to nurture them, even the bigger ones. Put the little ones right in the front. I'm right in the front. Somebody get a mic. We're not, we're not going to sing a song at this time to keep any more time. We're just going to really go right ahead. And of course, we have, you will just say, we have person that are, we have person that are renewing their vow. Okay, Sister Nicole. Right? But of course, your testimony is going to be very short to the point. Okay? Right? Your reason for in your baptism at this time. So, yes, let us, you can go. You, you, you can go. Let, 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 that's all right. No, let them observe. Let them observe. Let's start from mm -hmm. Mr. Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. The reason why I want to take my baptism, God is so good to me. He's so very, very good to me. That's why I'm so determined to take my baptize. He's so have a purpose on my life. That's my few words. So just pray me up. 
Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All my life, God, he has been faithful. All my life, he has been so, so good. Mm. So I just want to thank him. Yes, for his faithfulness. And yes, for, you know, uh, renewing my vows to God. I want to thank God for life. Yeah. Holy Spirit. Praise God. All right, you can do a little cheer. You can do a little cheer. Come on, come on. Yes. Thank you. It's a good thing that I'm going to take my water baptism. It's a pleasure to be standing here in the Holy Ghost. I mm. need you to pray with my strength. Evangelist in the I Holy Ghost. Ghost. You know, it seems like we'll never hear. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to take my baptism, my water baptism, because every day of my life, I make mistakes. I sin, and no one is perfect. So I am trying to be perfect, but I know that no one is perfect. So pray for me as you. I pray for myself. Oh, praise God. Let's praise, 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 God. God. praise his name. Praise his name. I want to take my baptism because I've been through a lot of things in sin. Mm. And God has saved me so much. But most of all, I can tell the churches. I used to work at a parlor. And every Saturday and Sunday, mm. I used to have to go pick up the dead, drive with them. Sometimes I have to all dress them. And most time when I come in, I said, but who next? Somebody's going to take you one day. So it keeps rest on me. So I could not live with it. So I said, I have to change my life. Because after this life Come in on. the earth, there's a next life to live in heaven. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I just want to thank God for keeping me alive to be here today. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. To be baptized because sometimes when I see Auntie Kim just praying, I will join her on, and I will see like sometimes I feel happy because I am praying and telling God what I what I am what I do today or what I am happy about. Mm. All right, praise God, and you know when I talk to her father. What I says to me sometimes ago, she see was when she prayed. Well, we know you that you pray favorite. sometimes a surprise. But the father that is away, he said to me that of course she pray some prayer sometime and some family member laugh. And I'll know she see was over it. Hmm? So after me I pray to God. I laugh them, I laugh. Oh hmm? All right. Okay. Yes. I want to be with, yes. with God. We do the right things. Because mm -hmm. um, I love God the most. I want God to take care of me and bless me and be with me. God to do the right things. Praise the Lord, right. church. God bless. Good day, everybody. Praise God. I'm happy to be here today. Yes, man. I'm happy to be my baptism. Come on. And I feel so good. Mm, praise I feel God. Feel joyful. Yes. I feel good. I feel good. Yes. So glory. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy Let's Spirit. worship the Lord, church. Praise God. Shall I worship the Lord? Praise God. I want you all to know that I am happy to be here today. I'm happy to be a changed person. Mm. Life wasn't easy, but. I'm happy and I'm glad. Rejoice in the Lord. I'm glad I'm, I have made a change today. Holy Spirit. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Happy in the Lord. Everybody stand. Keeping God's commandments. Prayer group, prayer group. And trusting in His word. Prayer group. I, I want you to know. Oh, praise God. His promise is true. That's why I'm, I'm happy, happy, happy in the Lord. Happy, happy, happy. Yes, I'm happy. Let's keep 
Amen. Praise his name. To be asking Sister Williams and Sister Enigam 
to pray for the baptizers and the waters they will be going into the water. Oh, praise God. In the name of Jesus. So praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Shall we magnify the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Shall we lift up on high the name of Hallelujah. Jesus? Glory to the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, if my name be lifted up from this earth, then I will draw all men unto myself. Continue to magnify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, most sovereign God of the universe. Lord, we give you thanks today that it's Jesus. Oh God, we know that heaven must be rejoicing at this time that it's Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We have more than one. We have more than two. Oh God Almighty, in this time that it's Jesus, that I've decided to walk with you that it's Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks that you are still in the saving business. Oh, glory to God, as your word declares, Lord, that in the last days, those that are just will remain just. Those who are filthy will remain filthy. Those who are righteous will remain righteous, mighty God. So we are glad that you are still saving, mighty God. We give you thanks for today, a fruitful day, mighty God, where we come, Lord, and our knowledge has been impacted. Oh, God, with your word that is Jesus. It is the word my God that we have to hold on to in this time. My God and Lord here are oh God these converts mighty God that are about to be immersed Holy Ghost fire. Lord we pray God today that you will trouble the water in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh God almighty as they be immersed today. Oh God almighty all things hallelujah Jesus will be passed away. Oh God and as they come up from the water they will come up as a brand new man that is Jesus ready mighty God to do your work hallelujah Jesus to obey hallelujah to humble my God and these are the only way mighty God that they will grow spiritually Lord I pray God that those who will be baptizing them at this time God hallelujah Jesus we pray Lord for a double portion of your Holy Spirit God to be oh God Almighty, blown upon them at this moment. Jesus of Nazareth, we pray, God, that you, Lord, as they make their confessions, oh God Almighty, of their sins, that in Jesus and have decided to walk with you. Oh God, that you yes, will be Lord. with them from this day on to forward, mighty God. The writer declares, forward still is Jehovah's will. Though the pillars dash and spray, Lord, no matter what it may, oh God, be that they go through any time after today, God. The songwriter says, God will take care of you. Oh God, I know, Lord, you will take care of them. Daddy Jesus, touch each and every one of them one more time, God. If I fail, Lord, to ask or to, oh God, to thank Thank you for anything. Do not fail to grant unto us as we look to you and we tell us thanks in Jesus' name. We pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise his name. Yes, the Lord prayed for.